Hello, I'm Dara O'Brien. Happy Christmas and welcome to a special festive edition of Mock the Week. We'll be talking about the holidays as well as looking back at some of our favourite moments from the last series, along with bonus bits we've never shown before. Hope you enjoy. I asked the panel a series of questions all about the festive season in the hope of filling five minutes we're trying to get out of this of our Christmas special. So, <laughs> teams, here we go. First question, what Christmas tradition was it? There are no note, there are no buzzers or any points. <laughs> this show is not built in any way to accommodate genuine quizzes. But nonetheless, you can take your turn. Which Christmas tradition was inaugurated by Sir Henry Cole in 1843? Is it the Christmas tree? Is it not the Christmas tree? Arguing with your relatives? No, it's not that one either, I'm afraid, no. Is it, is it holding mistletoe above your head and therefore being allowed to sexually harass other people? <laughs> it, it is not that happy tradition, no. Is it waking your children early, saying to them, oh, it looks like the sleeping pills have worked, happy Easter? <laughs> is it going to church just once a year and that's usually at midnight after the pubs have closed because <laughs> you want one more glass of wine? <laughs> Man, you really want to be desperate for your wine, wouldn't you? <laughs> something to bring up at an AA meeting. I sat through God. That's how much I wanted another drink. Is it a Christmas stocking? That's no, not Christmas stocking. That's a Victorian tradition. Were you trying to mine something there for us? It was... The oh, Christmas card. Yes! Well done, Ed Byrne. Points for him. Congratulations. There are no points. I know there are no points. You promised us there'd be no points. Name Santa's reindeer. I'll take attempts at this. Donner and Blitzen. Correct. Prancer and Vixen. That's two each. Dasher. Yes, three it's like doing a duet. Bonza, <laughs> but not Rudolph's. Yeah. That's a lie. Now, we've had. Yeah. What have we had? I've, got, I've lost. <laughs> Donald Blitzen. Donald Blitzen. Some Dasher Comet. Bashful. Co Co yeah, bashful <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> Doc and if one's, if one's called Comet, one's going to be called Curries. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Comet, Vixen, Cupid. 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 No, we said Cupid. What a ridiculous mm. name for a reindeer. Cupid. They must have teased him, though, with a name like that. They must have teased him. He must have been the reindeer that they teased. <laughs> reindeer are notoriously shallow, in fairness. Yeah. If, you, if, if the, the story about Rudolph is anything to go by, reindeer are ridiculously shallow. And yeah. they will make fun and they will slag you off until you get a job with Santa and then they will all love you. <laughs> the, the, the last line of that song should actually be, and then Rudolph turned around at them and said, well, fuck you, I'm with Santa now. <laughs> Christmas, everyone. Why, why don't you look at my ass for the entire... <laughs> uh, well, we've only flown the entire world while you look at my hole, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know how fast we fly, that's all you're going to see. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, all you're going to see is my hairy reindeer ass uh, going all around the world. The nose is in the front, bitches. Uh, the, nose, <laughs> the nose is fighting fog, but you're looking at my ass, Cupid. Uh, that's all you get. Enjoy oh, your reindeer track. game. <laughs> Oh, can we move on? Oh, sorry, is that not festive enough for this ridiculously <laughs> contrived? Sorry, am I not striking the mood of the nation at this day? <laughs> yeah, look at the bitches, look at that ass! <laughs> See you, baby, shaking that ass, shaking that ass. <laughs> yeah. Good night! Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. We start with a round call. If this is the answer, what is the question on the board of six mm. categories? Fred, which category would you like? Uh, world news, please, Dana. OK, your category is world news. Your answer is one-fifth. What's the question? Is this what fraction of the Jackson 5 might miss the Christmas party? <laughs> <laughs> is it how much of the weekend can Andrew Flintoff remember? <laughs> is it how much of French and Saunders is Saunders? <laughs> <laughs> is it what proportion of Enid Blyton's The Famous Five can lick their own testicles? <laughs> is it England's fraction? only dwarf king was called Henry the what? <laughs> <laughs> How much of a Boris Johnson speech is not, hmm, well, <laughs> I say, yes. <laughs> is it? Is it, how does Jamie Oliver pronounce one fish? <laughs> <laughs> is it how much of Wikipedia is true? <laughs> I'll tell you, on, on that, actually, I won't mention that on telly. Um, <laughs> what does it say about oh, it? Go on, what does it say about it? No, go on. It right. says, somebody's written, uh, I was once kicked out of a zoo for punching a monkey, and then <laughs> somebody underneath has put correction, he spanked the monkey. <laughs> I didn't do either. Didn't do either. I, I did, I, under, in, in my bit on a trivia about me, yeah. it says, uh, I, once, I once aided the RSPCA in saving a goose from a tile shop. <laughs> <laughs>
did I, don't it. I don't remember What's the event. The it's point... incredibly specific. What's the point of Wikipedia if people just write it themselves? I think every Wikipedia entry should have to start with, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? On the balance somebody else. I've yeah. just, I've just remembered that. another. This is a creepy thing that somebody put on my Wikipedia. They said of me, he looks like the kind of straight bloke that would be quite good at gay sex. I'll be honest, when I read that, I did go get in. But <laughs> he went on to say, but he looks like he'd cry afterwards. <laughs> So there's part of me now that wants to find a gay man to see, to test the theory. So if there's any out there, bring it. I suspect <laughs> there will be a few out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably about one-fifth. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dude, Dude, okay. Okay. What honour was the actor Nicolas Cage given this year? Our oh, Nicolas ah. Cage, right? He's, he's actually <laughs> going to be able to turn the Christmas lights on <clears throat> in Bath. This, by the way, aren't the lights in Bath. They <laughs> say... Apparently, what happened Those was... Those are the lights in Dundee. Some, somebody, <laughs> somebody actually put a note through his door. He's got a house in Bath, and he's agreed to turn on the lights. I put a note through Cheryl Cole's door, and apparently that's a matter for the police. <laughs> Do you know what's well, really weird about this not story? Not only is it incredible that they've got Nicolas Cage to do it, but also there must have been an incredibly uneasy phone call to Barry Chuckle. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Barry. Nicholas Cage is doing it. Well, yeah. Maybe they honest. gave him a part in an action movie where he knocks out Vim Diesel by turning round quickly with a plank. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know what's, you know what's really awkward about this story? This is genuinely true. Until last week, I was doing it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really. So, um, so I was there. I was there. Yeah. And then from nowhere, Cage has just jumped. It's <laughs> all funny. All my relatives are like, do you want us to sort him out? No, I don't want you to sort him out. Because we'll go around there and mess him up. Don't there. mess him up. Because you, you were originally up for the part in Face Off as well, weren't you? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Like, like, and what's really funny about it is that the lady that posted the letter through the door is the exact lady that went, oh, we'd love you to do it, you'd be great. And then I read in the paper without even telling me, the big Nicholas, you bitch. <laughs> About ten years ago, I switched on the Christmas lights in Kidderminster. Wow! And, uh, what? Because I've been rude. <laughs> <laughs> was a, yeah. be, there are Christmas lights yeah. in Kidderminster. Yeah, there are. Why did you ask we... to do this? Yeah, because... <laughs> 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 He's been rude. He's been We had Bruce Willis! <laughs> We've been rude about Kidderminster on television. Got a letter from the Kidderminster Tourist Board yeah. or whatever, saying, would you come and switch on the Christmas lights? So you think, oh, that'd be great, I'd love to do that. But you don't actually do it. Because what they do is they give you one of those enormous pretend switches, right? And you have to kind of go like this on a balcony to a crowd below, and you kind of go, oh, I'm going to press the thing now. And you press it, and as you press it, a bloke in a room behind <laughs> turns on a switch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're not that, doing it. So that, hang on a minute, so that, that bloke's going to be me. I'm yeah. going to be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Right. So you were asked to do it because you were rude about Kidderminster? Because I was rude about Kidderminster. I also did a joke once about Wolverhampton and got invited on a tour of Wolverhampton. I'm actually... No, I'm, I'm thinking bigger than that. If I slag off Jessica Alba, do I get a tour of Jessica Alba? Uh, <laughs> well, apparently, apparently Bristol wanted to have Bruce Willis switching on their lights, but then they remembered that he tends to get into a lot of trouble around Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember years ago, getting up really early Christmas morning, running downstairs, ripping open one of my presents, but unfortunately it was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it was a kitten. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> it was an old man. <laughs> I remember all I wanted for Christmas was an action man. What I got was a plastic doll with a cord on the back and he pulled it and went 25, 25, 25, 30, 35, 35, 35, 40. <laughs> Looked at the packet. Auction man. <laughs> I don't know about you, I often feel like Joseph at the inn in Bethlehem, holding a crib of straw and saying, no, I wanted to see the manager. <laughs> Peaceful Christmas, I remember. Your manger. <laughs> I think the most peaceful Christmas I remember was when my mother mistakenly covered the cake with tomazepam. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Christmas quiz! Oh, yeah.
People now come especially for the Christmas quiz to look at our fabulous oh, decorations. Nice. Oh. He's got this thing, which I think is actually sort of ah oh, ah oh, oh, sweet. And then for no particular reason, a squirrel, a squirrel <laughs> with tinsel on him, which is not in any way. And Donald animals. Trump's hair so at the back. And then this, a genuine, you can purchase this, which is a glistening. Owl with um, antlers on. <laughs> you, you know, you can just cost like four pounds fifty or something in, in a shop. Is this your a audition shop. for QVC? <laughs> Uh, so that's, you know, hey, hey, hey. OK, here's a Christmas quiz, right? Uh, in which there'll be quizzes and questions. Um, what makes the traditional British Christmas dinner um, unique? Turkey. What? Sprouts. No. What is, is it, what is it about it that actually... Racism. No, not unique. It's an, an achievement. Not racism. <laughs> <laughs> You can't say that for every question, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes a British uh, Christmas dinner outstanding? Why did you ask it again without mumbling? <laughs> I'm sorry, my, fa my face is full of your shitty lemon meringue pie. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 it's nom, quite, nom, It is quite tart. It will, it'll... Nom, 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 Oh, it didn't fall apart, bravo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> OK, why is the British Christmas dinner outstanding? Is it considered the unhealthiest or something? Is Very it, close, most, yeah, it is. Is it the most fatty? Ah. It is the unhealthiest in Europe. A typical Christmas dinner in this country contains 3,289 calories, wow. 70 grams of fat, 210 grams of carbohydrates, the second most calorific Christmas dinner in the world. Who's the most calorific? Take a wild fucking guess. <laughs> uh, what do you want for Christmas this year? I don't know, I don't want anything for Christmas. Hand drop off, a, off an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess what the number one gift party for kids this year? Nerf. Nerf, Nerf guns. The Nerf, the Nerf gun, gun the is Nerf 64 gun. quid. You? you could go to America and buy a gun for less than that. It's like it's a ludicrously scary thing, the Nerf gun. This is oh, the hello. current... Oh. Yeah. Hey, break down over somewhere else. I promise I'll be really, really careful. I wouldn't dream of doing that to you. Of all the people here, you were the last person that I would fire the... <laughs> boom! Um, hang on. Oh, yeah, there's, there's three things you can do, right? You can do this big one here. What? Right. <laughs> Listen, can... Nerf is how I did this to my eyes. So <laughs> what I'm just saying... Right? I'm just warning you. OK, cool. I'll get him instead. OK, Grant. Are we OK to sacrifice you for this? Uh, and then you can do these I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain there's, a, there's a, an instruction manual that says, do not aim at people's faces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Please there remember is, there that is, yeah. I am a there special is. man with special powers, and do not try this at home. Um. <laughs> 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 How far will it get? How far do you think it will get? I don't know, but if he uh, hits any of you, sue oh. the shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the money they're saving on Bake Off now can go to you. <laughs> Can you get to the back? I mean, because this is... The, it, I feel it can be unnecessarily powerful, this thing. Yeah. Right, OK, so... Like, the side yes, of the I'd back. certainly feel that. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, nice. Oh, oh, nah. oh, catch. Well done. Respect. Yeah, that is... That is, I'm estimating, seven gardens away. <laughs> <laughs> so you asked, what do you want for Christmas? So you could then shoot us. <laughs> He's still, got, he's still got the up with me, James, because he got heckled in Derby because uh, oh, they okay. wouldn't shake his hands. I, did, I always shake people's hands after the show, and in Derby, I was there the week before and shook everyone's hand, and then someone walked out of his show and went, at least Rob Beckett shook our hand. <laughs> that actually happened. Can you believe it? He shakes people's hands on the way out the door like a little kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> afterwards. Here's what most of us do, right? We do our stand-up, and then we go, that'll be enough. And we go back, because that's our job. And Rob goes, no, please light me at the door. <laughs> I just felt before they came, James. And to be fair, like, you know, it, it's only four people you've got to shake, so you should... <laughs> Listen, here's what's annoying about it, right? I got heckled with this thing. Well, Rob Beckett shook our hands. What else did they say? <laughs> what else did they, James, what else did they say? And he had proper jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, right, for a joke then at the end, I said good night and then I legged it downstairs to the door and I shook all their hands on the way. I was like, however, yeah, four of them. But like, <laughs> shaking all of their hands. And when the last one went out, and it was clearly a joke that I was doing to make fun of Rob, and the last one went out and the venue manager came up to me and went, 
Thanks for doing that. It really means a lot to him when people take the time to shake their hands. I was like, that's a joke! <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, but the thing is, let's be honest, I didn't have many other options open to me career-wise, so I'm just very thankful they turn up. <laughs> Genuinely, because without them, I would probably be on the street. Yeah. At the end of my shows, I say, I've been James Acaster, and I could have been anything. And I walk <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why would you want to be given clothes as a Christmas present in Iceland? Because it's, it's really cold. cold. It's cold. It's just freezing there. It's a land of ice, Dara! <laughs> Is it because you can take them back and get the money back in exchange for the clothes? No, oh. it's not that perfectly <laughs> practical really good reason to get clothes. Because yeah. yeah, clothes is just a good present wherever you are. Oh, God, yes, I know. OK, the question... Is it because people don't have I'm sorry, clothes? are you getting exasperated at us trying to think of humorous <laughs> answers <laughs> to ridiculous questions that you're posing? Should we just try our hardest to come up with the correct answer? <laughs> Would that slightly miss the point of a comedy quiz? <laughs> No. Is it because no. no normally they sell frozen food? <laughs> <laughs> the reason you should be even closed as a Christmas present is to stop you getting eaten by the Yule Cat. Yule... Yule... Kutterin. I wonder why you didn't get the QI presented. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be one show you don't present. There well. has to be, yeah. <laughs> what might you expect to eat at Christmas in Japan? Food. Yes. Sushi. <laughs> no. Sashimi. No. Don't just name all Japanese things you can think of. Wagamamas. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> a bucket of... Eels. No. Turkey. That's not no. a clue. A it's a really good clue. A bucket fried chicken. of... Fried chicken. Is it fried chicken? Hey, it's fried chicken, Nish. <laughs> <laughs> Not just any fried chicken. Kentucky fried Kentucky chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. Since 1974, KFC has marketed itself in Japan wow. as a Christmas food. Oh, very clever. With the advertising phrase, Kentucky for Christmas. That's... Look. I beg you, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky for Christmas. A lot of things to hear at Christmas. Oh, John. Thank you so much for my electric toothbrush. <laughs> no, it's everything I wanted and more. Oh, you've got lots of nectar points on it. Good. <laughs> yeah. Do the fork and take a pew. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this might run for a while. <laughs> oh, Sarah. A holiday to Barbados? That's going to help in the fight against plaque. <laughs> it's Christmas. Today? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> the shops have kept that very quiet. <laughs> ah. Oh, look, everyone's eating all the nuts I've bought. I should buy some more. <laughs> Leg or breast? I'd really rather you just put your clothes back on, Greg. <laughs> I'd just like to reassure everyone that the sponsorship deal will have no effect on this year's nativity. Now, Joseph, if you could just pop Jesus in the Pretter manger. <laughs> Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Mmm, Christmas with a vegan. <laughs> This is your Christmas and birthday present. Yes, it is a turkey with 16 candles stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> we always have a goose here at Christmas. I don't know why, really. It's conversation's terrible and it shits all over the floor. 